Good evening, Assalamu Alaikum, and welcome to this very, very special edition of Sports Extra. I'm at the Musaf Squash Complex in Islamabad, where the chief of the air staff and Serena Hotel's international squash tournament is taking place. Of course, uh, we're going to be showcasing to you the players who are participating, not just from Pakistan, but from various international countries, including Egypt, including France, including Switzerland, Hong Kong, London, you name it. All of these players are here. It's one big tournament, obviously, after tough times of COVID, and we'll try to bring you, bring you the players' perspective, the managements as well, and also some uh, great clips of the tournaments as well. So you've got to stay tuned because we're bringing you something very special. Right, we've been joined now by an international player who was part of this tournament as well. She's the top seed when it comes to Switzerland. So you already know what that means, that she has brought some top class of squash to this tournament as well. She is Nadia Fitzer. Hello, Nadia. How are you? Great to meet you. How are you? I'm very good. So how was the tournament, first of all? Tell us about the tournament. Thank you so much. It's been overall a great experience, as always. It's my first time, uh, my third time here, I'm sorry. Mm. So it's always been really nice. Um, I'm glad to be back. Um, I'm unfortunately not really happy with my result of the tournament, but that's how it is. Uh, it was good to be here. Well, it's been tough times for all of us, even for sportsmen as well. So tell us about your routine during COVID times, because obviously there were no international tournaments. How difficult is it for a player to go through such a routine? Uh, yeah, it's unbelievably difficult for, I think, everybody of us, even though some were a bit more lucky to be able to kind of keep on training, but there was no tournaments for nobody for a really long time. Mm -hmm. So it's just like you're on court and you want to focus on your training, you want to keep improving, but you've got no idea how you are compared to the other ones. You've got no idea whether you're trained the right things, so you're just there and trying to make the best out of yourself with hoping it's the right thing you're training for your next opponents. So for some people who might not be familiar with the dynamics of squash in Switzerland, could you tell us about that as well? How how much of squash infrastructure is there in Switzerland right now? <laughs> um, let's say we're trying. There's mm -hmm. some really nice courts and some big clubs and there's some good juniors coming up. Um, but we haven't had like the biggest squash history of yeah. all, so um, compared to Pakistan, yeah. like maybe not. Um, but at the moment, we have four girls like really investing into into squash and a lot of boys as well. Mm -hmm. So um, yeah, we're hoping, we're looking forward to the next, hopefully soon coming up World Team Championships and and, mm -hmm. and trying to show what we can. Yeah. Well, you've already produced Roger, who's one of my favorites. So I think squash is going to get there as well. So uh, uh, but, but lastly, I must ask you, uh, what's next for Nadia? <laughs> Where are you seeing yourself, or what's going to be the next plan now? Um, yeah, it's going step after step right now. Um, I, I'd be home tomorrow afternoon, and mm. I'd be flying off to America on the Sunday morning. So um, not much time to recover, but I had some nice days here. So I hope I'll be full of energy um, in America, where I'm playing a, a bronze event, so a pretty big one again uh, against a high-class player. So I, I try to do my best, and then play some other tournaments and improve and yeah, get better every day. <laughs> well, all the very best to you for that tournament so as well. Much. And I'm sure you've made many fans in Pakistan as well. Uh, thank you so much. Thank it's you, been an honor to be here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Right, another champion has joined us and uh, this one is very special. He's very close to my heart personally as well because I have known him uh, not just as a squash player but as a brother, as a very dear friend. When you talk about squash, his hometown, Nawakali, has been producing the biggest legends of the game and he himself is also a legend. Pride of performance, winner also from the president of the Islamic Republic of Pakistan and uh, like I said, a sensational squash player, Farhan Mehbu. Assalamu alaikum, Farhan. Wa alaikum salam. How are you? I'm good. I'm Very good. long time. You've been disappeared from the scene. <laughs> uh, well, the, you know, uh, the COVID situation is uh, now is uh, very dangerous. So we have to, you know, save uh, <laughs> ourselves and yourself as well. <laughs> so it is important, you know, to save ourselves because of uh, the COVID situation from the last past is mm -hmm. uh, very dangerous. So that's why we uh, stop squash and stop training. So now just alhamdulillah everything is fine so we now you can as a squash player i know you also work with the younger generation as well you know you're more than a squash player you're also now uh, passing on that skill to the next generation how important first of all was it that uh, pakistan air force pakistan squash federation everybody was able 
to get this tournament underway at a very important time. Well, they have uh, a lot of uh, doing uh, hard work for this tournament's mm -hmm. possible because you know the co especially the COVID situations nowadays are like uh, you can see the world. You know, there's like, very less tournaments they pro production. You know, mm -hmm. so this is the best start for us. You know, so they planning the tournaments and then after now we can plan another tournament. So mm -hmm. they planning actually the next few months like they planning more tournaments for mm -hmm. squash players so that can we can. Uh, uh, Rank uh, like we can the lost ranking improve our rankings, uh, improve yes. our rankings mm -hmm. back. So this is our uh, good start for us, for everyone, like for the junior players and for the senior players as well. So I think this is the best start for us. You know, you yourself are looking as fit as always, mashallah. So that means that even during COVID, your training routine was the same, or was there some change? No, not that much. Like uh, before, I will tell you that uh, that. Um, the COVID situation is a bad, you know, the squash clothes are closed mm -hmm. every, everywhere, like the closed squash. Mm -hmm. So nowadays are they starting camps? So now can you can see me in the shape <laughs> because I do a lot of work for this tournament. It's like three months regular training uh -huh. because I was putting uh, like eight kilos weight up, you know, so... Uh, this is for me uh, like a very tough uh, time. So that I understand. But people, it. people out there who are fans of Farhan Mehboob, and now, like we said, that Mashallah, you're a pride of performance winner as well. They, they want to know what's the future right now for Farhan. Where are you seeing yourself now? No, inshallah, they can see me in the top again because I'm doing very hard work for the upcoming tournaments, and now. I'm, uh, you know, planning my tournaments mm -hmm. and I start my international tournaments because in two years I didn't play any international yeah. tournaments. So now they can uh, see me uh, uh, in the international upcoming tournaments. And inshallah, Tala, this is my promise to that can, I can uh, come up again in the top 20. Inshallah. Farhan, inshallah. all the very best and great to see you once Thank again. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. Well, when we talk about any sports, especially squash, it's not always about the players, is it? It's a complete team that is involved. And when it comes to the team or people who are involved from the uh, behind the scenes as well, then I think the duty and the importance of a coach is always like a father figure. And we've been joined by national coach, Mr. Rahman Gol. Asalaamu As Alaikum, sir. How are you? Wa Alaikum, Salaam. Good. How sir, about you? I'm very good, sir. First of all, we need to realize that COVID put a big break for all sports, not just squash. So coming back from a break into a major tournament like this, how difficult is it for the players and for the coaching staff as well to get them ready for such a tournament? Uh, well, first of all, it's a good sign that we already started our tournaments. Um, we are trying to prepare our uh, players and we're doing hard work for that. Yes, you're right, it's a long break. Mm -hmm. We didn't participate in major events, even in PSA events. So. The lack of experience now what uh, we are facing, our players, especially, for example, in this tournament, even our player faced, and even we judge that they don't had enough idea or to play tournaments. Uh, so I think we lost a lot, and mm -hmm. unfortunately, we missed many events. And as a coach also, I can say I didn't participate in any international events with my players. Mm -hmm. Now we just started our work with senior and hopefully soon we will in good position. So sir, how do you rate this tournament first of all that has been organized by the Pakistan Squash Federation? We brought international players once again. What's the level of the tournament that we've seen? Well, the tournament is very good. Uh, we really appreciate our federation that they organize a very good event. Um, the level is, uh, what is my experience of what I saw in the world? Uh, I think the level is not that high and I believe in my players that we can beat them and we can achieve the place what we are looking for. So you're doing a lot of international work as well as I've been told. So, um, you know, I'm tempted to ask you this, that uh, Pakistan has enjoyed a glorious history of squash. There has been a downfall. Now gradually we see squash uh, picking up once again. So when we look at the international level and then Pakistan, so what's that one thing you think that we, we should start doing in order to reach that level once again? Uh, well, good question. Uh, the thing is what I noticed here, it's a little bit the coaching style. Mm -hmm. uh, before, like some coaches was not trained like in calculation. Mm -hmm. What that we are trying just to implement some new techniques and methods of training. So hopefully you will see a good change in future. Inshallah. Rahman Gul, thank you so much for joining us. Sir. Thank you.
right now we've been joined all the way from Egypt another player who is participating in this tournament Nadine Nadine Islam alaikum how are you I'm good thank you how are you So how was your tournament and uh, how was the intensity of this tournament for you uh, I mean like uh, in the second round it was a really tough match mm -hmm. I played against my fellow uh, Egyptian mm -hmm. Uh, and then uh, in the quarterfinals, it was a, a pretty uh, smooth uh, way to the semis. And unfortunately, I lost in the semis to the better player. So uh, yeah, I'm learning, and uh, it's a, it's an experience. And for sure, I'm coming back next year, maybe to win the title. You know, oh, inshallah, that's the hope. <laughs> uh, but we do know that uh, Egypt's got a great structure for squash, and you're yes. introducing so many champions right now. So do yeah. tell us about your routine over there, and what's the competitive level? I mean, we train like six days a week, uh, two to three times a day. Uh, it's pretty intense, you know, being an athlete. Um, so yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's really intense. And uh, I guess Egypt, we're lucky because we're, we're surrounded by champions all the time. So uh, yeah, we're lucky. So we're pretty uh, lucky. what's next for you? Are you participating in some more yes. international tournaments? We've heard that there's a tournament in Egypt as well. Uh, yeah, there's one in Egypt, but I'm not playing it. I'm playing one in uh, London mm -hmm. uh, next uh, next month. Mm -hmm. I have two tournaments coming up, so wish me luck. <laughs> well, all the very best, and uh, we're sure that you're going to ace the competition in London. <laughs> Thank you so Thank much. You, Thank you, Nadine. Thank you. I have with me now a person who was the top seed in this tournament. Very unfortunate that he got knocked out in the tournament semi-final. But one thing is for sure that he is the real product of Pakistan and a person who is really achieving big when it comes to squash. He's uh, been there in this tournament before as well. He's participated again. He had a tough encounter in the semi-final. It was a good game. Went down to the very end. But unfortunately, he couldn't be there. And he is Tayyib Aslam. Aslam alaikum, Tayyib. How are you? Tayyib, alhamdulillah. Good. Tayyib, how was the tournament first of all? Once again, finally, after COVID, we have a tournament. How was the tournament for you? It was a very good tournament. It was a very good tournament. It was a very good tournament. So after you play a tournament for one year, you struggle in the court and after you come back from injury, it was a very important tournament for me. I played a lot of good tournaments, but unfortunately, I lost in the final semi-final. During COVID, we understand we did not have any major tournament. So what was your training routine at that time because there was no competitive squash? In the days of COVID, there were almost sports in Pakistan, so I was doing my room in my own fitness training. I was doing it online with my coach in America, with his name and his name. So I was doing my own training with my own training. And about this tournament, this time we have people coming from France, Egypt, all the top players that we have. So how were those players in various matches? In Pakistan, there was a lot of COVID. खत्म हुए कोई तीन चार माह ही हुए हैं तो बाहर के कंट्रीज में तो काफी देर से मैचेस हो रहे हैं तो उनकी जो मैच टेम्परामेंट तो वो काफी उनके वापस आ चुके हैं तो जो हम में नहीं थे तो हम इस चीज पे लाइक किए हमने so, inshallah, as we play a lot of tournaments, we'll be better in our next tournament. Inshallah, so what's next for Tayyip Aslam? What is the future right now? In Karachi, there are international tournaments. There are the same players. I'm going to Malaysia for the world team. I'm going to the Asian team and the Malaysian Open. So, next month, inshallah. Tayyip, all the very best and we're always so proud whenever we see you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Right, joining us all the way from Egypt now, uh, was participating in this tournament and uh, we're going to be asking her about her experience and obviously her plans for squash. Uh, she is Fairuz. Hello Fairuz, how are you? Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. I'm Fairuz. Uh, so how was your tournament first of all? Uh, I lost yesterday in the semis. Mm -hmm. It was a great opportunity to, uh, to be here and I'm really happy uh, about everything in this tournament. Uh, the people are really nice, uh, they are helpful uh, and they are uh, really caring uh, so much for us. So um, tell us about uh, your preparations for this tournament because we know that during COVID it was a bit tough because there was not many sports and tournaments going on. So as a player, how did you go through that routine? Uh, I used to train uh, online mm -hmm. and uh, um, when we got back, on, uh, we started to train uh, a bit slowly, then uh, we made the intensity more and more every day. The routine is, uh, wasn't the best at first, but mm -hmm. uh, it improved as uh, time passes. So what's next for you now after this tournament? What are you looking to participate um, 
actualmente in Egypt uh, it's uh, more likely to be a national one, not mm -hmm. uh, junior national one, not uh, PSA one. Yeah. Right. So all the very best for the tournament and thank you. Thank for your you. Time. Thank you. Thank you. Right, now we've got the champion who has aced the tournament. What an intense final that was. Mustafa, who is the champion of the men's category of this event. Mustafa, assalamu alaikum. Mabrook, first of all, congratulations. Thank you so much. Thank How you. was the final, first of all? Tell us about it. I mean, it was brutal. If you've seen, uh, every, every, you have to fight for every point. Uh, Augusto is uh, such a good player. He's uh, in a higher ranking than me as well. So, uh, And he's more experienced than me in the tour. So uh, it was pretty tough to beat him. But uh, at the end, you know, squash is much better than anything else. So. That's how it goes. Well, he won the first set, and you're right that he's a much more experienced player. But what I saw in you was that you were very mentally composed and mentally relaxed. So, is there a special training you're doing to be mentally so tough as well? Uh, no, but uh, every time I wake up, I have uh, just one goal, and uh, and for that goal, you have to be mentally consistent, and mentally strong. And, uh, um, every every day, every time, every point I, I play, I just remember myself with that goal, and, and how, that's how I keep consistent, and that's how I keep strong in my mind. Sometimes it gets off, but you know, most of the time it works. So, how was the tournament in general overall? Did you enjoy the tournament? Of course, I know I won the tournament, so <laughs> of course I enjoyed it. Uh, I mean, the hotel is so nice and the, the venue as well. Uh, hospitality is nice. Uh, everyone is welcoming us, and uh, there's all the facilities we need is, is available. So, um, I'm pretty happy to be here, and I'm actually gonna come here in two weeks. So. Hopefully, I can win that other tournament. Inshallah, that's that's what we hope for. You've made a lot of fans in Pakistan, so they want to ask what's next for Mustafa right now. Uh, next, I'm coming. I'm coming to Karachi for 20k uh, in the first of November, and then uh, I'm going to some other tournaments in Europe, uh, and hopefully, get to the top 20 soon. So, is there going to be a party in Egypt, considering you win both men's and women's titles as well? So, is there going to be a celebration? Well, uh, yeah, kind of. <laughs> I mean, me and Sam are kind of friends, so uh, we have like the same uh, mutual friends. So, maybe we'll celebrate it. Well, once again, congratulations and all the very best for the Karachi. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Right now, we've been joined by the champion of this tournament, Salma from Egypt, who has just aced it and has won this tournament. Salma, assalamu alaikum. Alaykum First of all, Mabrook, congratulations you. to you. Thank you. So How much. do you feel winning this tournament? Uh, it feels amazing. It's my first PSA title here in Pakistan. It feels really good, yeah. So tell us about the tournament in general. How was the competition and how were your matches that you played? Uh, the competition is really good, yeah. It's, uh, it's definitely, that's what makes it, winning the tournament makes it nice. Like. So um, during COVID, obviously there was no international tournament. Yeah. So what was your training routine at that time? Yeah, I was training like six days a week, fitness and squash and all. And uh, it's paying off right now, like I can see it paying off right now. So what's next now for uh, for Salma? Uh, for Salma, where are you going after this? More tournament? training, midterms, and uh, more tournaments. More tournaments. <laughs> well, all the very best and congratulations. Thank to you. you thank you so much. Right, the senior vice president of the Pakistan Squash Federation, Air Marshal Ahmed Masood, has just joined us. So first of all, congratulations to you on yet another successful international event. What would you like to tell us about the tournament? Well, first of all, I think uh, I would like to congratulate Pakistan, Pakistan Squash Federation, and uh, Chief of Air Staff, who is our president, for uh, holding an international event where we had participants from 22 uh, different countries and most of the European players were here. So I think it's an uh, event of significance for the fact that uh, uh, it happened after the New Zealand team and the, uh, and the British team, they refused to come. So once uh, we started to you know, make arrangements for this particular event, the World Squash Federation president and the Professional Squash Association uh, president also, they were a little bit skeptic about you know, sending the foreign players. So they did uh, call me and showed their concern about that. Uh, so while seeing our record for the last three years, I told them that because of the COVID, we were a little bit, you know, slow on the uh, on the tournaments. But otherwise, we have actually made all sorts of security arrangements. And uh, so subsequently, you know, after a couple of talks, they were quite satisfied. And uh, you can see the response of the players and the way the tournament has gone. Alhamdulillah, by the grace of Almighty, we have been able to hold it very successfully, very peacefully and with all sorts of security arrangement, all the players have enjoyed their game and I think uh, this is a success for our country. And this shows the fact 
that Pakistan itself is very, very, very safe for sports. All sorts of activities which can happen here, and uh, you know, the foreigners can come for any sports. At the backyard, you can see the polo going on. There are many yes. international players there also playing. So, Alhamdulillah, this is a good season for Pakistan international players to come and play different sports. Uh, sir, uh, I'm tempted to ask you what's next now for Pakistan Sports Federation because we've also learned that there is a plan to uh, change many things when it comes to the uh, structure, training and coaches as well. Exactly. Like our president has uh, mentioned in the speech also, he wants us to go very aggressive. Uh, now that the COVID is almost over, so he wants us to go very aggressive as far as the training of the players is concerned. We are going to be concentrating on our local players and especially the youngsters so that the future we want to big, bring that glory back and for that he has already given a sort of clearance for uh, the international coaches for them to go abroad and participate in different events so that you know in a uh, span of another one or two years we are able to have a good pool of young under 19 under 17 under 15 players who can be some sort of uh, you know uh, we, we can take them to the senior ladder and they can bring a good name. They can be among the first ten, and uh, hopefully this is what our you know. Uh, and along with that, we are going to tap the schools and colleges, the associations of different, the provincial associations, who, which are going to be playing a very key role. We are in hand and gloves with them. They are going to be also you know going aggressive as far as the uh, uh, training of the schools. Uh, I mean, young players is concerned. So uh, I think we have to make a, a complete strategy. And in that, we have to uh, also, you know, take help of Pakistan Squash Board and uh, different uh, sports association for us to be, you know, helping us in achieving our goals. You know, uh, this will have to go. Uh, this strategy of employing the coaches, tapping the schools and colleges for young players, having good physical trainers with us, and ensuring discipline among the existing players as far as their fitness is concerned. That is one of the key area and the weakest area which we have found in our players. So we are going to be now doing it very aggressively, very uh, much, uh, you know, we are going to be strict as far as the discipline on the fitness is concerned. And hopefully we, we, we expect the results to be there in the next six months to one year. So uh, I, I hope and I can pray, you know, because you see the Egyptian model, you can see the type of players they are there, their fitness level, the pool of players they have. You know, there are 54,000 kids who are engaged Absolutely. from different, you know, levels from under 11, under 17, under 13, under 15, under 19, and senior players who they have as far as the playing members are concerned. It is just because that the government made it as their national sports. Absolutely. They opened up the academies. Those academies were giving them education, physical training, and they made it a key feature of the Egypt that you know we are going to be grooming the best of the best. And that is the reason out of 10 top players, we have seven of them as Egyptians. Absolutely. So this should be our aim, because we are the ones who ruled this squash for 30 years. And there's no reason that we should not be able to do it again. So, uh, we can, you know, pray for that. We want the uh, players to be disciplined. We want their, their parents to be involved in this thing. We want their coaches to do parenting for these players so that they have the passion and the vigor and the vision and the focus to become the best among the youth. You know? Absolutely, sir. Once and again, I, uh, I would like to congratulate you, sir. Thank and you. I think the, uh, Sir Amir has mentioned it very pertinently, that it's the need of the art that an aggressive strategy is required. And uh, probably, I think the standard of training and the bar really needs to be set high. So once again, sir, congratulations to you. Thank Pakistan you very Sports much. Federation, Thank and you certainly much. we hope for the best in the future. Thank, Thank you. My name is Marie Stefan. I'm a professional squash player from France, and I'm here in Pakistan this week for a, a professional squash tournament. I've been having a great time so far. Everyone's been great. Hospitality's been awesome. The security and safety measures taken by the organization have been great. We have a uh, escort for the courts. We had someone take us from the airport to the hotel. Um, the hotel is also great. I mean, it's just been a great tournament overall, and I'm really excited to be here, and I hope I can come back next year if there's another tournament. Also, I just want to tell everybody that they should come to Pakistan if they have the opportunity. It's a very safe and welcoming place. And uh, yeah, I'm really happy to be here this week and uh, Pakistan's in the bad.
My name is Henry Lun, a player from uh, Hong Kong. Hello, I'm a player from Hong Kong, Henry Lun. Uh, I really enjoy uh, this tournament in Pakistan and the uh, security, the food and hotel uh, is f are very good and I hope I can join this event uh, in next year. So long live Pakistan. Thank you. Hello, I'm Lao Shifan from Hong Kong and uh, I come from the tournament this time and uh, Pakistan is very safety and good place. The environment here is, is very nice, the people is very kind and if you have chance you should come here and feel feel what I feel like in here and if I have chance to hear again, I, I, I would love to, to come here again for the tournaments or for travels or everything. Yeah. Pakistan, Sadapa. Hello, my name is Wong Chi Him. I'm from Hong Kong and I like the Pakistan very much. Uh, I really enjoy uh, my tournament last week. Uh, I think they have good hospitality, they have good food and the hotel is very nice, also people are very kind to us. Uh, yeah, I got a lot of good support from the local crowd also, and I think it's a good experience here. And I bet everyone should come and try this tournament uh, in later stage or next year. And I hope to come again soon or later. Uh, Pakistan, Sindabad. Hello, my name is Max Lee from Hong Kong, sports player. And uh, this is my few times, after few times come to Pakistan for many years. And um, I, I pretty like Pakistan squash, it's a Pakistan squash player. They are very good, good cultures, traditional uh, history in squash. And um, I, from, from here to, from hotel to, to squash court, we have uh, Air Force with us all the time. So security is pretty good. And uh, the, the people here are very kind, they love squash. Whenever we talk about squash, they say, yeah, squash player, they love squash. And um, I, I really enjoy to stay here, hotels, uh, the food is good, hotel room is good. So um, we, are, we are looking forward to a next experience in Pakistan and Pakistan cinema. This is Farah Mu'min from Egypt. Uh, it's it might be my ninth or tenth time here in Pakistan, Islamabad specifically around five, six times. I like it uh, very much here. The hospitality is, uh, is wonderful. I uh, love Serena Hotel as well. They get us in the best places. And uh, the tournament and the security was all good, spot on. And uh, I think we are very comfortable here going and coming around all the time. So yeah, I definitely, will think of coming back again soon, like I came back nine times before. <laughs> so far, we, we feel very safe here in Pakistan with all the security measures uh, the, the promoters are taking. So uh, feel free to come from any country because it's, uh, it's super safe here. And uh, for the country as well, I believe Pakistan and for me, Islamabad as well, <laughs> one of the most beautiful places you can go to. So as a touristic place as well, it's going to be a beautiful trip to, to head to. Pakistan Zindabad. So I'm August Dussour from France. Um, I'm currently playing a 30K tournament here in uh, Pakistan Islamabad. So it's my third or fourth time here in Pakistan. Um, yeah, this tournament I've been probably the the better I did since I play in Pakistan, uh, the, the organization is getting better and better. Uh, you, you have the hotel, uh, it's nice hotel actually, uh, good services. Uh, you have shuttle like from hotel to the club. You have the food for free, like there is nothing to, to complain about right now. The security is good, like every travel is safe. Uh, we we go from club to 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 hotel always with like one car behind you one car in front like you feel always safe and comfy when you travel um, even from airport 
like the people came like straight in the luggage place, took our luggage, like it's really good service. Um, the hospitality of the people are the same, like there is nothing to complain about. Uh, every service I ask, uh, I got it. So I have nothing to say. I got my practice quote when I ask. Uh, the club was closing at six yesterday. I asked a delay to practice, he accepted and he let me practice until 6.40. So no, I have nothing to complain about. Like uh, all the tournament have been great. Uh, all the people around have been great. So yeah, thanks to, thanks to them and thanks to everyone for this tournament. But what I saw at the moment between the club with new courts, the hotel with nice abilities, you have a pool, you have a gym at your disposition. The food is good. So yeah, between the club and the hotel is the two places I have been. Yeah, I can say it was great. Pakistan, Zindabad.